Hi everyone, this is Hope from Midas. Welcome to the fourth training video. In this video, we are going to learn about how to use Steel Composite Girder Breach Wizard. As you understood the Baso Midas symbol from the last training video, which was the third video, you can now create your breach model manually. But then it wouldn't be much different from your current software program, right? So now we will go over Still Composite Girder Breach Wizard. By using the wizard, you can create your breach model by reducing significant amount of time and effort. Plus, in Midas Civil, you can modify even after the wizard is executed and make multiple models with different conditions within a few minutes. This is the preview of the bridge model that we are going to build together. The bridge shape looks pretty complicated with skew angle, curve, and substructures. But don't worry, with Midas Symbol Bridge Wizard, this will be not only quick and easy to build, but also transparent. Then, let's start using the wizard. Before we start, Please download the file name training for Steel Composite Girder Bridge Wizard from our website. Then let's double click the Midas Civil icon. Once you see this page, please go to the top left corner of the window and click the Midas Civil icon and click the new project. Then your window should look like mine. If you encounter any error messages or authentication problems, then please go back to the video number one and follow the steps again. What's the first thing to do before we actually build a model? Yes, correct. Check our unit system. This time, we will use the shortcut. So let's select our unit system from the Dropbox menu. We are going to use pounds and fit then let's register material and section properties so let's go to properties tab from the main menu and click it and click material properties you will see this window since we already learned how to register materials and section properties this time we will use the shortcut let's all click import button Instead of add, this button is the second bu button from the bottom. Then let's select the training video number 4 file that we already downloaded. And click this training video number 4. Then you will see a pop-up window like this. By the way, this training number 4 file is the model file that I already created. And we are going to import material and section data from the past project. Let's take a look at the right side of the box called selected list. You should also have four different materials. These are the materials I used in the past project. And since they are all in the right side of the box, they are ready to be imported to our new project. So after you check that four different materials are in the right side of the box please select ok then you will see the four different materials are registered safely in our new project and let's import section properties from the past project too so we are basically do the same thing please move on to the section tab from the same window click it and let's click import button again and select the same project named training video number four curved steel composite girder bridge double click it then you will see another same pop-up window after you check that seven different section properties are in the right side of the box which is selected list let's click ok and if you click section, then you should have a pop-up window like mine. The Steel Composite Bridge Wizard is composed of total of four tabs. Layout, Section, Load, and Construction Stage. 
This import function is especially useful for engineers who often use user-defined materials. Once you register the material once, you don't need to punch in numbers forever by using Midas Civil's import function. But of course, Midas Civil has abundant database of material and section properties, so you can also quickly choose your properties from our database too. Once you're done, please check Works tab from Tree menu to make sure the properties are safely registered. Then let's go to Structure tab from Main menu and click Still Composite Bridge Wizard. Then you should have a pop-up window like mine. The Still Composite Bridge Wizard is composed of total of four tabs. Layout, Section, Load, and Construction Stage. So, the layout contains basic layout information, such as span information, deck width, modeling approach, how you like to reflect the substructure portion, meaning would you just want to model up to bearing portion, or would you like to model full superstructure and substructure. In section tab, you can define for the details of bracing and girder such as what are the types of bracing you have, how can you space them, or what are the different girder sections you have and on which location they are located. Load tab defines basic dead load and live load and conventional settings, um, which are pre-composite and post-composite settings. In construction stage tab, you can decide whether you want to consider construction stage or not by using the checkbox. The program will automatically consider pre-composite state, post-composite state, and long-term composite state. Also, the flexibility of wizard allow you to define further sequencing information such as stack pouring sequence, deck split construction information. Mida Civil Bridge Wizard is open platform, meaning you're allowed to move one tab to another at any time. Therefore, our platform reduces a lot of wasted time, especially when you need to make lots of modifications. Okay, then let's punch in some numbers. Let's all move on to layout tab from the wizard. And for um, let's define composite steel eye as a girder type and all frame as modeling type. But if you click this word, um, then Dropbox menu will appear. You have more options to choose. Let's define span information as 130 feet and 130 feet, meaning there will be a two span. The first span will be 130 feet, and the second span will be one th another 130 feet and that width as 30 feet. For the skew angle, let's say our bridge model is straight except the end, which will be 30 degrees of skew angle. Since the bridge has different skew angle um, throughout the bridge, let's check the box and click advanced dot 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 to input some complex skew angle. So abutment 1 should be 0, pier 1 should be 0, but abutment 2, which is at the end of the bridge, it will be 30 degrees of skew angle, and click modify. Then at, once you check the number for abutment 2 is changed, then let's click OK. Let's move on to the curvature of bridge model. Let's say the bridge has uniform concave curvature and its radius of curvature is 170 feet. Then please check this box next to radius to activate the curvature function and type 170 for the radius of curvature. And concave, this is correct. And if we have irregular curvature or non-uniform curvature, then we can also input information by activating the function and type some numbers using advanced dot dot dot. But we don't need to do this time, so let's deactivate it. Then let's look at boundary box. There are two options. Would you want to model up to bearing portion or would you like to model full superstructure and substructure? 
For this time, let's say we want to include substructure in our model. So we will click with substructure. If you are not sure about terminologies, then you can also click guide dot 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 to look at the explanation graphically. Let's leave elastic link stiffness as different values. Then click checkbox to include peer cap in our bridge model. Section will be peer cap, so select section number 5, peer cap. You can see our section from Dropbox menu because we already imported those sections from the past project. If you forgot to register some sections, then you can always do that within the wizard platform by clicking this dot 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 button. The length of the peer cap will be 40 feet. And for column, we want section number 6, which is column. And height will be 30 feet. And spacing will be 0, since we only want column. Let's say if you have two columns, then if you write a number, let's say 2 feet in here, then automatically wizard will create two columns that the spacing between two co those columns will be 2 feet. But let's leave it as 0. And again, in column, same thing. If you click this dot 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 button, then you can add more section or modify them too. For materials, we want concrete. So let, let's select material C30. Also same thing for material. If you click dot 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 button, then you can also add or modify some materials too. Let's click close and peer support will be fixed. So we are actually done with layout tab. So this is the end of the fourth video. Once you're done up to this portion, please click save as button to save your wizard. So we can bring our wizard back for the next video. Fourth video, save it. If you have more time, you're feel free to move on to the next video too. Once you save your wizard, um, you can, you're feel free to click close and close the program. Thank you for listening to the fourth video, which we covered the general process of wizard and inputting numbers for layout tab. I hope you realize that the wizard will save you lots of time by inputting layout of the bridge compared to manually creating thousands of nodes and elements. For the next video, we will finish the rest of the bridge wizard, which are section, load, and construction stage tabs. Then we will finally execute the wizard and see the outcomes of the wizard. Have a wonderful day and I will see you on the next video. Bye bye!